everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm going to be updating you on my Finish 13 by Halloween project pan uh, where I picked 13 items. You all know how it goes unless you are new to the whole project panning thing or new to my channel. I picked out 13 items that I basically want to work on and possibly get through um, by Halloween. So let me update you and let you know how I'm doing with that. I, the items that I have already gone through, I'm not going to show, but I will mention them um, just to kind of recap. So let me go through the ones that I finished. I have finished the Olay Face Wash. Uh, I have also finished the Lolly Balm, the Benefit Lolly Balm. I'm going to call it done because I can't seem to find it and it was already in its end. Like I was having to scrape it out. So no point that is done as well. Uh, Laura Geller baked foundation powder that one's done um i have the philosophy night cream that i substituted for uh, my two hot oil hair treatments so those are gone and then i also have the elf face primer and the pixie pencil um eyeliner which was in the color brown so all of those are done they're out of the way let me just check that i didn't miss anything we do have an absentee though which is so frustrating because last time I did the same thing and it's the Argan Oil from Physicians Formula and I've been working on it, using it in my hair and it always disappears right before I do an update and it's so frustrating because it just pops up right after. So whatever, just I will let Karma take its toll on it and it'll be done one day. So let me move on to the items that I have been working on. Sorry, I'm wiggling in my chair. Let me show you the progress on those. So I have them by weight and the ones that I could measure, I measured. Um, so you can see visible progress as well. So I'm going to start with my rice powder from Palladio that I have here. Great powder, great setting powder. I've said it before, and but it is quite messy. So on this one, I measured it and I have the lines right here. And I guess last time there was quite a bit of product in the little area right here between the cap so when i measured it again it was just basically the same it was any tiny little bit below the second line but it is what it is whatever i haven't been totally dedicated to using it a lot a lot i usually i use it every now and then okay last update i was at 39 grams so it did lose one gram and i'm very happy about that and right now it is 38 grams so one gram of that that got used up which is Okay, I wish I could have used up a little bit more, but I'm not going to stress over it. Next, I have the Tarte Blush and Bronze, Blush or Bronzer, and this is what it looks like now. So this one, when I measured it last time, it was 57 grams, and I was a little bit confused by this one uh, because I measured it and it kept going back and forth between 55, and then it would go back to 58, so I did it several times with this up and with this closed, which shouldn't make a difference. But at the end, it stayed between 55 and 56 grams. So I'm going to say 55 and a half grams. So that's where I'm at this one, which is awesome. I did not expect to, to have that progress at all. I have a dual shadow that I was working on from Avon. And the, the darker shadow, which was my transition shade, um, I finally got done with and now this is all that's left of this little little tiny white-ish counterpart <laughs> the the second part of the duel one of the shadows so there is a big dip going on I have hit major pan on it mm, kind of major pan on it so I'm making slow and steady progress this is kind of like my weekend go-to uh, shadow to just set my um, eye primer with and right now a big chunk of it just chipped off i don't know if you can tell so that part right there just chipped off and i'm like well whatever it is what it is i'm not gonna go looking for it either so i just let it be and this one of course last time it was 22 grams because it was in the packaging and right now it is two grams how much did i use up of that <laughs> no idea but now i know that as of now i am at two grams so Let's just let it be. Uh, next, I have the Dr. Brands Face Primer, which is this one right here. And as you can see, I have two lines. I haven't been using this 
at all because I just forget about it. I focused on using another one, another primer that I was using on my face and now I'm all caught up with my Maybelline Master Prime. I love that primer. I'm loving it right now. But I have used it a little bit and I am right here. You can't even tell because of the of the labeling. But um, I've made some progress, just a little bit of progress. As far as the weight goes, it's still the same because this is a very moussey um, type primer. There's really no progress in that area as far as the weight goes but little by little I am getting through it okay so now for the biggest item that I have in this project and it's my Jergens cream and this is it right here I started measuring it uh, right side up then I flipped it and I started measuring it uh, down so all the product can just go down and this is how I store it this is last update and this is right now where I'm at so it's not too much more to go. I still have some in here. I hope I can get it finished um, by Halloween, but I don't know. I don't know because I do forget to use it sometimes, but I'm going to try to remember. It was 149 last time, last update, and right now it is at 96 grams. So I have made a lot of progress on that. Very excited because I have moved out a lot of um, creams and a lot of lotions through Project Panning, so I'm very excited. Next, I am going to show... Um, I have the Rue Anti-Aging Hair Serum. Where did I leave it? I put it back in its place without knowing. So this is it. It's just a little hair serum, anti-aging kind of thing for your hair. So this one, I've been using it not regularly. I use it every once in a while. But that one was 84 grams. Last update, and right now it's at 74. So that is a big, huge amount of progress for me not using it regularly so um there it doesn't feel like there's much in here but i don't use just one or two sprays when i use it i use several so that is why i guess there's so much progress even though i don't use it that often so let me just go through and check and make sure that i didn't miss anything because i have a big tendency of doing that it doesn't look like i missed anything so out of the 13 products i have finished seven of them eight if you count the other shadow to the duo and six if you do not count the hot oil treatment that I got subbed uh, that got subbed with the other um, night cream the philosophy night cream so either way I think I'm making pretty good progress I'm not gonna finish all of the products 100% that I already know but like I said I just want to get some use out of them. So that is the update for finished 13 by Halloween. It is, I'm going to do just one more update before this, I mean after this one, um, might go up on Halloween. There, I'm going to see what I can do within this next, within these next couple of days. Um, but overall I am happy because I have finished over half of the products that I put in here and that is a big huge thing if you aren't following me on instagram go follow me go follow me at instagram at in the beauty mix just like that in the beauty mix and uh, if you do project penning on instagram or minimalism or declutters or anything like that just let me know and so i can go follow you as well thank you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye